Hey everyone, it's been a while since I made a video about the Strava API with Python, uh, but I actually recently ran into an issue, and that is I have more than 200 activities in my Strava account now, and this code here uh, is only returning 200 activities. Um, so this code, I believe, is from uh, the most recent video, or I don't know about the most recent, but um, it's on. It's the code that's on GitHub for the Strava API Python. So I, I know there were maybe two videos I made about Python and the Strava API, um, but this is the code, and I'll put this in the um, description. Um, but yeah, we need to figure out how we can list more than 200 activities because I have like 680. So this is not going to cut it. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of remind ourselves, or let's just run this as is and uh, see what it's doing. Um, so you can see here, it's just printing uh, the zero element of this my data set, which is the response from this request. Um, so it's basically just a list of all your activities and we're just printing the name and then we're also printing the map summary polyline. I can't remember why I was printing the, just, just the one value here, but we don't need this for now. So let's just get rid of that. And I'm actually more interested in, let's print the length of my data set. And then we'll print, um, let's loop through and print all the activities. So for data set, oops, why did I do that? For data set in my data set, print data set, and we'll just print the name. So just as a sanity check, let's make sure we see a bunch of names and then we should see the length be 200. Okay, cool. So the problem is, again, I have like 600 activities and th this isn't doing everything I need. It's only giving me 200. And the reason that is, is because we're just making a single request and we're feeding it up a parameter right here and we're saying per page 200 and page equals one. So what does that really mean? So per page, the maximum you can re request per page is 200. Um, so it would be easy if we could just make this like a million and then we'd never, we could just make a single request and we would always get everything back. But that's not the case. Uh, 200 is the maximum. So what we're gonna end up having to do is make multiple requests and we just need to change this page number. So instead of page, we'll make a request for page one, then we'll make one for page two, then page three, page four, page five. Um, but the interesting thing is, um, how do we know how many activities we have? Um, we need to kind of be a little bit more smart about this. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a while loop and we're going to continuously loop through and increment the page number until the response is zero. So keep looping and check the response every time, make sure it's not zero. And then as soon as it is zero, that's our indication to, to break out of the loop. So hopefully that makes some kind of sense. So I'm just gonna comment that out and let's go ahead and make that while loop. So I'm gonna keep this outside of the while loop, but let's put this right here. And I'm gonna say while true. All right, and now while true, we want, um, we actually need to make a variable here, actually two. I'm gonna make this called request, um, request page num, set this equal to one initially, and then we're gonna use this variable here, down here. Let's make it request page num. And then we're gonna increment that every time. So let's leave that like that. And then at the bottom of the while true, let's do request page num plus equals one. And put a little space there. So while true, this just means it's an infinite loop basically. It's gonna continuously loop until you break out of it somehow. So since there's no break statement here, this will just keep going and going and going and making request after request after request, basically until the Strava API says you you can't make any more requests, you've made too many, you have to, you have to cool down. Um, 
So why don't we just kind of see that in action? So let's print let's print the length of my data set here. So remember before it was 200. So let's just in our heads think about what, what's going to happen here. So while true, this is going to be one. It's going to make a request. We're going to print it and it should be 200. And then we're going to increment the request number by one. So next time it loops through, it's going to be two here. And then it's going to be three and then four. So let's try this out. Okay, so it's 200. The second time, 200, 280. And now it's just zero, 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 zero. So we can kind of interpret, we can kind of understand how many activities I have now because 200 and then it changed and the response was 200 from page two and then page three, we still had another 200 and then page four, we only had 80 uh, requests and then page five, we had um, zero. All right, so I think that makes sense. Um, but what we want to do is we don't want this act, this behavior to happen where it just keeps looping and looping. So we need to put in an if statement, and we basically just need to check the length of this data set. So instead of printing it, let's just say if the length of my data set is equal to zero, and let's just print this for good measure. We'll say breaking out of while loop because, uh, because the response is zero, which means there must be, be no more activities. And then we need to put the break statement. So now let's run this and we should see the same thing, but we should notice that it stops by itself. Hmm. Oh, we forgot to print or we didn't print the length of, I was like, why did it just immediately break out? But it's, it didn't, it's just, it wasn't printing the length every time. Nope, oh, did it again. We don't want this to be in here. This needs to be right here. All right, let's try this again, just so we can illustrate what's going on here. So 200, 200, 200, 0, 80, 0. Okay, all right, so that makes enough sense in my head. So now what do we want to do? We want to add the response data to a big array. So let's make a new all activities. I always have trouble spelling activities. Whatever, that's close enough. All activities. All right. So before we increment, we need to add a few more steps here. So if all activities, so this is saying if all activities is not, is populated basically, we're going to say print uh, all, act, all activities is populated. And we're going to say all activities dot extend uh, we're gonna extend with my data set so this is saying uh, hold on put this here okay um, so if there's already information in here we want to extend it but if if there isn't information in there, then we just want to set it equal to the response for my data set, if that makes sense. So uh, else print all activities. I'm just gonna copy paste this instead of typing. 
all activities is not, not populated. Or another way to say that is all activities, uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. It's populated. And then here we're just going to say all activities equals my data set. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, all activities is equal to my data set. So let's just in our heads go through this uh, mentally. So the first time it goes through, if the length is zero, well, it's not. So it's going to not break. And then it's going to say, if all activities, and that's not going to be true because all activities is empty. And then it's going to say, else all activities is not populated. And then it's going to set all activities, which is now our like our master list of activities. It's going to set this list equal to this list. And then from there on out, it's, um, it's always going to trigger in this if block here. And it's just going to extend the latest uh, my data set that's looping through. If that, I don't know if I explained that very well, but um, let's just try that out. So down here, let's print the length uh, of all activities. And let's just run this. Before we go any further and just make sure we're getting what we expect. Okay, 680. All right, so the last thing we should do is let's just go ahead and make sure, let's just say for activity in all activities, print activity. And let's just say, uh, print the name out. Okay, so if you were to count these, uh, you should find that there's like 600, but if you don't believe me, and I, I wouldn't believe me either, we could um, use the enumerate, which allows you to basically to print the, the counter or basically print the loop number that you're on. And how that works is you just do e enumerate all activities, and then we just need to print activity name. And then we'll just print um, count. OK. There we go, so it's gonna start at zero. So we have 680, even though it says 679 because we started at zero. All right, so uh, hopefully that was helpful. Um, and I, uh, yeah, hope that was helpful and I'll, I'll put this code uh, up on GitHub somewhere. Uh, but yeah, I ran into this problem and um, I just wanted to share, you know, my approach to fixing it. Uh, it's just the first thing that, that came to mind. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.